Welcome back guys to the Taji Legacy. Today's video, you and I are gonna learn a new muscle up secret tip. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get it. Right into the technique that we have for you for today, as you see, we had Harvey Norman again. Right, James. I'm proud, man. All right, so the technique that no one tells you about, and I haven't told Jordan yet. I told Dylan, bro. I told the cameraman. What most people tend to do with the muscle up, they and you already know that when you're doing the muscle up, it's usually a C or an S shape, right? When you're doing it, you're always supposed to go under and then over the bar. That's correct, but when you are doing it, how I emphasize that you're supposed to be doing the PCL, so the full swim and the lean, I don't really tell you to really um, put, put the emphasis on what kind of pull technique that you do while you're doing the muscle up. So while you are doing the muscle up, you want to make sure that you're actually doing a crocodile pull up. And what I mean by a crocodile pull up is uh, with a normal high pull up, you're usually just coming up and the pull up as per normal but you're just swinging differently right but when you're doing this one you want to crocodile it so when you're pulling up it's more emphasis is like this right so i'm guessing like that right. so the difference here compared to a normal muscle up so normal muscle up you're usually going up it's a usually a three step or two step technique with a normal muscle up so you're pulling you're turning and then you're leaning, right? With this one, it's just a straight explosive dynamic movement. So as soon as you get a little bit of daylight between your arm and your elbow, that's when you crop it down, pull up and just go explode. I don't know why, but the muscles seem more compact this way and all the muscles just um, sync up together and they cooperate and everything just sinks and it feels stronger when it's synced in together. So I'll show you what a normal muscle up would look like and there's not much of a difference but when you're doing it and when you're emphasizing it on the crocodile pull up that's when it feels a lot better right so have it normal right so with the normal one it's pull up and then crocodile but you want to start with the crocodile first so that's this is this difference right You notice the difference? It's just that little bit of difference between when you're going out the sink. So I have Jordan come in here and just do how he you would normally do a muscle up. I'll, I'll do it. Now as he's been learning, as he's been hearing me talk about it, now will you try the technique? And tell me if there's a difference. The crocodile technique. The crocodile technique. We crocodile. Crocodile. In America, what they call it? Alligators. Alligators. Woo! Tomato, tomato. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we better get that. <laughs> it seems today that Jordan's a bit weak. What? Wait, not the part. We'll, con no, we'll continue the, the, the tutorial. So, that's what I was saying the crocodile pull up, right? Crocodile muscle up. Crocodile technique. It's not just a straight pull up and then a wrist turn. It's as straight as you feel like you can pull up from the dead hang when you come up from the dead hang That's when you just crocodile it up, alright? So I'll show you one more time Right, it feels a lot more explosive It's not just my mind playing tricks on me thinking that I made a new technique up Alright, so you've heard it first here Jordan's quoting the size legacy because he can't do the crocodile mark Oh, are you serious? <laughs> no, no, no. Alright, now that you learned the crocodile muscle, that's basically all we got for you today. So, hope you guys enjoy this technique that Jordan can't do. <laughs> Stay tuned for another video. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. We broke down the muscle up technique, the crocodile technique, with the J-Lo. Just giving it a second attempt. Let's see how he does. Alright, yeah. take it away. You 
see with the difference here, if you were to notice, go back to his first attempt on it, just me blankly telling him what the technique is without really explaining it in depth. But when he's really done it now, you can see that there's a major difference between the, the separation from him and the bar. You are supposed to create separation when you're doing the muscle up, but not too much separation. If it's a full separation like this, you're not going to have much um, contraction and help and support from the muscles being worked. When doing the muscle up, right, when everything's closer together, everything is a lot stronger. It's good. Let's have it. I'm not going